I'm Dr. Rachel Langley. I'm a physician here at Pine Ridge Family Medicine. And I wanted to address some common concerns about anaphylactic reactions and use of EpiPens. We've often been in situations, probably me at least, and probably you too, where we've been in charge of EpiPens or been around people with severe allergies and wondered what we would do if something bad happened. I remember the first time I went on a trip with some kids and one of them had a bad allergy and I was handed one of these and my heart stopped for a minute wondering what it would be like to administer an EpiPen and how serious of a thing that would be and how scared I was and how much I hoped and prayed that that kid didn't have a severe reaction. But that shouldn't be your response to this and that's kind of the point of this video. I hope you're not having an emergency right now and instead watching this in advance of something like that happening because that's the best time to think about it and wonder what it would be like. So let's talk through that and hopefully kind of calm down some of your fears about giving EpiPens, giving an, a dose of epinephrine because it can definitely save lives and it's, it's one of the best things to know how to do. I've got a training pen to demonstrate with you. I've got one expired dose of Epi that I hope to be able to administer to this bottle and show you how it actually works. And I've got one of the other models like here so that I can show you the basics of that too so that you're prepared no matter what. So what is an anaphylactic reaction? So it's a, a severe allergic reaction. A lot of us have had times when we've had runny nose, itchy eyes from seasonal allergies. That's an allergic reaction. That's true. A lot of us have had hives before, whether it was after an antibiotic or with a really bad uh, seasonal episode. Sometimes your skin starts reacting as well. It feels itchy. Those bumps are really uncomfortable. Those are all allergic reactions. Anaphylaxis takes it up to another level. Anaphylaxis has to involve multiple organ systems. So it's not going to be your, just your skin, obviously. If it was just your skin, it wouldn't be life-threatening and we wouldn't have to give epi. Um, but the concern is that it's involving your whole body instead of just this one area where you got that bug bite and it's itchy and irritating that instead of having that allergic response to that just that one area, it's throughout your whole body and your whole body is freaking out and it needs epinephrine to help push it through that bad re allergic response. Um, so that multi-organ system involvement is called anaphylaxis. Some of the key points of anaphylaxis is that it's fast. It comes on within minutes to hours. If it's been a couple hours since your allergic reaction started, you can be pretty confident that it's not going to go into anaphylaxis. It tends to happen fast after the initial onset. It does tend to usually involve some kind of skin involvement or inside your mouth, that kind of skin, mucosal skin involvement too. Um, so that might be bumps like hives. They are probably going to be itchy. Or sometimes when it comes on really fast, you just turn bright red. Uh, sometimes I can spot an anaphylactic reaction from across the room because they just turn bright red and they look kind of uncomfortable and panicked. They can feel something is going wrong. Uh, as often for the other involvement, other system being involved, it's a breathing problem. That's the classic one that you hear about is that you start having your throat closing off with those bumps, with the inflammation going on with the histamine circulating through your body and you stop breathing. And that's what we're trying to avoid with all this. But you also have other important systemic involvement that's not so obvious. Blood pressure drops alarmingly during anaphylaxis, but that's not something that you're necessarily going to see if you're uh, chaperoning a school trip and a kid uh, gets, in, gets exposed to something they're uh, allergic to. That's not something that you're going to be able to bust out your blood pressure cuff necessarily. Um, but you might see fainting. The, the kid might faint and have hives starting to bust out, be turning bright red. That would be a sign that you need to bust out that EpiPen and use it right away. Um, but sometimes it also involves stomach symptoms. Uh, you might have vomiting or sudden diarrhea or uh, even incontinence, loss of control of uh, pee or poop. Those are all normal. I mean, they're all very real uh, additions to the respiratory compromise that we're worried about that can tip you off to, hey, we need to use this EpiPen. And one of the big messages that I want to get across here is just to use the epinephrine. Remember, epinephrine is also called adrenaline. This is the same chemical that courses through your body when you see that guy you have a crush on and you get all excited, or it's the same one that comes on when you're about to start a race and you're getting all amped up. It's, you, I bet 
All of you have had the experience of having a sudden surge of adrenaline, a sudden surge of epinephrine, and it feels very similarly. So getting a shot of epinephrine is not going to hurt you if you're not having an allergic reaction, if the kid isn't having an allergic reaction. It's a much better idea to use it and to not have used it, have, have really needed to use the epinephrine, rather than that to actually have been an anaphylactic reaction and you didn't use it. You can resolve a lot of those symptoms by using epinephrine early and uh, I mean you still need to go into the ER and get checked out after you use that epinephrine but that can save someone's life on their way to the emergency room because it does happen so fast, minutes to hours. Okay, so use the epinephrine. You've decided to use the epinephrine. A lot of times when you get an EpiPen, it comes with a trainer just for this reason, to get you comfortable with it. So this is a trainer. Um, it talks you through the instructions there. Uh, you can tell that it's a trainer because it has, I mean, the big words trainer across it. Uh, you, and the way that it works is you pull the blue cap off. This is a trainer, so I'm going to stab myself in the leg and it's going to be okay. And all you do is stab it into a big muscle group like a leg and hold it for a second. The needle is so small that you can hardly feel it all. I don't think you can feel it at all. Maybe a little kid could feel it a little bit more. Try to hold it in place because you tend to be excited and nervous, obviously, if you're treating someone for anaphylaxis. So to make sure that all that medicine goes in there, try to count, what do they say? Count to 10 seconds, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10. And then you can tell that it went because the uh, the tip on the actual delivery device will extend to cover the needle so that you can't use it again. On the trainer, obviously, you want to be able to use it again so you can stick it back in and practice and show uh, your caregivers how to use this and be able to actually practice on yourself, practice on um, a child, get them used to that idea. So here is an expired uh, EpiPen. I'm hoping that you can see this. I've got a water bottle. It has a little bit of water in it because I was drinking and hydrating today. But it talks through the instructions right there. It says, first, to use this, remove the blue safety release by pulling straight out without put twist, bending or twisting. So you just pull off the blue cap and then you hold it. Oh, this one says three seconds. That's more reasonable. So I'm going to stab it into the bottle and you might be able to see the squirt of medicine. You might be able to see the tiny needle. Hopefully that'll be educational. Hopefully the bottle will be able to tolerate this. Come on. Ah, there you go. That was super cool. I hope I got a good shot of that. You can see the needle still in there. Then I retract it and it gets covered by the orange thing. And there's a small amount of epinephrine in there. And we just saved this water bottle's life. Not really, just kidding. Water bottle's fine. So you can see that now where it used to be uh, an open space right there, you could see the medicine in there. It's now been plunged down. The needle is covered up so you can't hurt yourself. Really cool little device, really expensive. Sometimes, hopefully they'll cut back on that. This is another device for administering epinephrine, just different packaging. And this one talks to you as soon as you take it out of the case. So this is a case around it to protect you from whatever's in there, from the needle and the medicine. So you pull it out and it's gonna start talking. If having an allergic emergency, pull red safety guard down and off of AviQ. So it's gonna be really similar. You pull if off not this. Ready to use, replace the outer case. There you go. Do not replace red safety guard once removed. So I'm not going to pull this off because we are still hoping to have this on hand. <laughs> so you can see the red guard on the bottom, kind of like this blue cap on top. You pull it off of the here and you do the same thing here. You pull it down and then you uh, put it on, on the patient's leg and hold it in place for a couple seconds. And the needle will come out and deliver the medicine and then retract. Really small needle again can inject through clothes, no problem. And it's, it's really not painful and it's worth it. If there's any chance that this person needs it to save their life, it's totally worth it. So hopefully that gets you a little bit more comfortable with what an EpiPen is, what an EpiPen does, when you should use it, why you should use it. They're amazing bits of medicine and uh, definitely use them. Um, and if you want to learn more about allergic reactions and allergic responses, since it's such a common issue in today's society, you can click on that video there. That might be helpful. And definitely subscribe to our channel right here uh, so that you can learn more things about your health.
Thanks for watching.